Everybody. Sorry about that. Uh, hey everybody! Leash of the Hunt here, coming back to you with Always Sometimes Monsters. And we're gonna get right back into it. Okay. Yes. Let's continue on in our awesome journey. For last time, we couldn't pay our rent. So now, let's get to getting our rent paid. Because that's kind of important, don't you think? Yes. Okay, let's get our rent paid. Look at it. Look at this little radikins. Well, it's too late. Because I'm coming to your neighborhood. And you're about to find out how ugly mankind can really be. Like rats, they're not cute. I think they're adorable. Well, okay, well the thing is, I think I should help that old lady first. But she said I didn't really have long to do it. So let's go help that old lady out. Let's do that. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Yes, let's go help the old lady out. The old lady that was getting some. Dirk, Dirk gifts waiting for me to help him down at the nightclub, but Mrs. Tegler sounded like she could use my help. Should I ditch Darklet and spend my day helping uh, helping her clean instead? Yeah, I think this is more important. My heart goes out to cleaning and helping little old ladies. Little old ladies need the help, so I'm not. Oh, Alicia, is that you? Come right on in. I'm just over here getting some veggies cut. Don't mind the mess. I don't know. I, I just feel like that's the way she sat. Get out of the way. What a jerk. Hey! Excuse me. Oh my god, this cat. This cat is totally in my way. Okay, thank you. The cat's... A your cat's in my way. Oh, Alicia. I'm really glad you could make it. I'm sorry this place is such a mess. Then again, that's what you're here for, aren't you? Where did you want me to start? Well, I'm sure you can get, you can see there's a lot to get done. I guess straightening the bookshelves would be a good place to begin. There's some photos in the bedroom I'd like straightened, but just can't reach. The couch is a bit of a mess too. That darn cat of mine just keeps knocking everything over. If he gets in your way, don't hesitate to chew him out of the way he can be quite the pest I'll be just over here preparing dinner for this evening if you need anything organize the bookshelves straighten the photos and fix the couch I think I can manage uh, there's one more thing I'll need from you but that can wait until you're done got it Oh, she's happy. I made her happy. Get out of the way! <laughs> I'm like this cat. Okay. Oh, let's straighten everything out. Hmm, looks like an old photo album. With a bunch of wedding pictures. Everyone's so young, I can't even tell which one's... T... Wheel... Wheeliger. You know what? Somebody tell me how to pronounce your name in the comments. That would be great. Thanks. It would be great. Great. They all look so glamorous in black and white. Huh, I guess two villager was was a travel enthusiast or something. She's got all sorts of brochures for exotic destinations in this folder. 
There's a lot of West Coast in here. I wonder what she's doing in Dubstown. Oh, there's a bunch of old newspapers left out. Some of these looks pretty old, too. Neat. It looks... It's like holding a piece of history. Wait. Be nosy. The shelf's already been cleaned. But I guess I could check out that old newspaper again. No harm in looking, I suppose. I wonder how long she's kept this old thing for. You know... You know, man. You know what? I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, stop chasing me around, kitty. It's time to send you back to your home, Mr. Pillow. This cat. Loose pillows all over the place. That darn cat's a menace. I should consider a career in home decor. This is now a sofa fit for royalty. Get away from me, kitty. This is the bathroom. <laughs> Scott and figure, champ. Champ from Postal 2. Another day in the life, I suppose. I'm not really in the mood for the bathroom. What about this? <gasps> oh, that's nasty. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I took a. I just took a crap in her bathroom. Gross. It's like a almost out of toilet paper. Oh, that was gross. Sorry, guys. Get out of the way. Nasty. Okay. Gotta figure this out. I think I'm gonna have to hop on on the bed if I want to get to those photos. Fine. Oh, now I made a mess out of the bed. Time to fix. Boy, what I'd give to live in a big, beautiful house like that instead of my shitty apartment. Just straighten you out a little here. They sure don't make cars like that anymore. Can't imagine how cool it would be to have wheels like that. Climb down the bed. Oh, I can't look at anything, I don't think, in here. Not really. Okay. It's just... Should make the bed. Yeah, now that I've messed it up. Looks like... Looks like this is where Mrs. Tegler are keeps her documents and things. What about this? Nothing. What about this? Nothing. What about this? Nothing. I'm just like looking around. I'm nosy. Ah, oh, this cat! <coughs> I think I've done everything you asked for, Miss Tegler. Sorry about coughing into you guys' ear. I don't mean to. It... I'm sick. <laughs> Bookshelves are organized, the couch is tidied, and the photos in your room are straightened. That's lovely, you're such a good kid. Thomas is going to be so pleased. A tidy home is very important, you know. This place is looking a lot nicer, I suppose. Who's Thomas? You don't mind me asking, who's Thomas? Is he the one you're expecting for dinner tonight? Sounds like an awful lot of trouble to go through for just one evening. I'm sorry, I didn't explain, did I? Thomas and I used to be married. We were together for a very long time, but we still love each other very much. Tonight's my beloved's birthday. He was always very particular about a few things when we lived together. Every year, I throw a little dinner party for just the two of us and make his favorite meal. He just loves an old-fashioned stew. Oh, sounds really nice. 
So, what's next on the to-do list? Well, it would do <clears throat> be a big help if you could run to the store and pick up a few things. I'm trying to get this dinner just right, and I seem to have forgotten a few ingredients. Uh, it doesn't sound like too much trouble. What do you, you need me to grab? Well, I'll need some fresh lamb meat for the stew that's cooking. <coughs> a small banquet of tea, roses, and would be nice for a centerpiece too. Oh, and I almost forgot. A bottle of classic club rye. Don't forget that. It's very important. Lamb, meat, tea, roses, and some classic club rye. I think I can manage it just fine. Wrote down the grocery list. Here, take my bank card with you. There should be enough money on the account for everything. To it, Will Willager gave you her bank card. You can find the pin for it on the fridge. I never can remember it on my own these days. You can trust me with your card. I'll be back soon. No time. <clears throat> it was a deposit just today. So, there should be enough for everything. Alright, I'll see you soon. This cat, man. Okay. Eight. Zero eleven. Take it. All right. That lady, man. Now I gotta run to the grocery store for her. what a pain. Helping old ladies out. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, man. doggy over here. Should try to find that dog some food. I will when I can. That's not 
not right. And that's not what Alicia the Hunt does. Alicia the Hunt does not steal old women's money. <laughs> we don't steal her monies. that doggy some food too. Woof woof. Hey there little doggy. How are you doing girl? I brought you some food. Whoa whooker. Give dog food. Munch munch munch. Bye bye doggy. Hey what's this? Looks like the dog draws something. Pick it up. Looks like a locket the dog was wearing fell off. Got the dog's locket. Huh. What's on the dog's locket? Come in handy for what? Alright. stuff that you couldn't walk down the store and get yourself. Put pin note back. Yeah, because she can't remember anything, so she needs her note back. Alright. I think I got everything you asked for. We got our lamb meat. We've got our tea roses, and we've got our bottle of club, classic club rye. Thank you, Alicia. In my old age, I'm sure I would have forgotten something. Don't worry about, about it. I forgot. I forget stuff all the time, too. It's true. I do. I do, personally. Like your car. I nearly forgot. I still. It's still in my pocket. Oh, how forgetful of me. It's a good thing you're so honest, Alicia. Just put it on the nightstand next to my bed. Hopefully I'll remember it's there. I'll get right on it. Oh, okay. I suppose we should get the lamb into the stew. The tea roses should fit nicely in the table. Okay, well, let me go do that for you. Ah! Darn cat. Darn cat. Oh my gosh. Was this her bedroom or was this her bedroom? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, yeah. Right here. Oh wait, not there? Oh, right here. Like this, this thing's in the document. Put the card back. Yeah. I put her card back. I'm a good person. I wonder if she'll even remember telling me to put it here. Yeah, whatever. Well, it's over there, so I put a card back. I'm a good person. Yo. This cat. This cat, man. I'll put flowers here. Arranged bouquet of tea flowers. Wow, those look really nice. And this is tea. To what? Do that. Tea waggler. How do these look? Oh, they look just wonderful, dear. Thank you. Just like you remember, huh? Glad to hear it. Are they special? For some reason. Oh, bless you for asking. Yes, the tea roses really are quite special to me. When Thomas and I first started dating, he would always come to pick me up with a fresh bouquet of them. Tea roses stand for everlasting memories. You never forget someone who brings 
them for you. He said it was so that I wouldn't forget about him when the other boys were chasing me. It didn't matter though, from the day we met I had eyes only for him. Still, it was very sweet for him to worry like that. Heart, aww. Of course, only later did I find out he was picking them straight out of the neighbor's yard. <laughs> he was always a bit of a rascal like that, but it's part of why I love him so. Aw, oh, that was sweet. Get out of here. Wow, the stew smells delicious. This recipe must be amazing, Mrs. Teglair. Oh, I'm glad you like it so much. I only make this on very special occasions. The recipe's a bit a secret, though, I'm afraid. Sounds neat. Sounds neat, Mrs. Tegler. Toss the meat into that. Okay, so now what? Well, the lamb's in the pot and the flowers are on the table. Will that be all for now, Mrs. Tegler? Yes, Alicia, thank you very much. I do want to thank you for all the help you've given me. It can be a little harder getting all this done by myself now. It's a funny thing about life, how the older we get, the slower we're able to move. Thanks to you, I've had no worries about finishing in time for the dinner tonight. So I really appreciate it. It was no problem at all. I was happy to help. Here, take this as a little thank you for making today so much easier. You really went above and beyond what I asked for you, of you today, so it's the least I can do. Yeah, I said Fadara. Oh, thank you for, for that, I guess. I appreciate this. I'm still a long way off from solving my money problems, but I really appreciate this. Hopefully I've got some good karma coming my way or something. Gotta keep my spirits up. I'm sorry, Alicia. I really do wish I could do more, but that's all I can really afford. Keep your head up. I'm sure a clever girl like uh, yourself can figure something out. Yeah, we're still, uh, we've still got this whole bottle of classic club left. What did you want me to do with it? Oh, look at that. I forgot all about it. That's Thomas's favorite drink, you know. You wouldn't feel strange having a shot with an old lady, would you? Ah, uh, you want to drink this early in the day? Bottoms up? Up? Oh, absolutely not. Oh, splendid. Two everlasting love, friendship, and good neighbors. Cheers to that, bottoms up. Ooh, that's spicy. Haha, ah, glad you liked it. Well, I've still got a few sides to prepare. Right, I best get and move on myself. I gotta go see if there's still time to help my buddy, Dark Gift set up his concert gear. Take care, Alicia. I'll do my best. <laughs>